Manufacturing is the process of turning raw materials into finished goods. And during the height of American manufacturing, there were clusters of factories producing anything and everything possible. 80% of the world's automobiles were built in cities like Detroit. Cities like Pittsburgh were churning out heavy equipment and materials like steel for new construction. Maine was known for its shoe manufacturing. The South was a haven for the production of textiles and furniture. Appliances like refrigerators, ovens, washing machines came out of the heartland, while the West Coast was filling the skies with airplanes and commercial jetliners. All across the U.S., these sectors and more provided the world with some of the highest quality goods ever manufactured. At its peak in 1979, manufacturing employed over 19 million workers. Of course, that number doesn't reflect all the jobs impacted by the presence of a strong manufacturing base. Many other jobs were created to form the links along the production chain. Take a baseball bat, a Louisville slugger wooden bat to be exact. It starts in a New York forest. I work in the woods primarily looking for timber that can be suitable for use for making baseball bats. You look around the woods here and you see that these are marked trees and we're certainly not harvesting every tree. We're marking trees that are uh, ready to be harvested. Lumberjacks are employed to harvest the wood. Well, at first they had to go get certified through game of logging. Had to take four courses, get certified, bought a skidder, and just been in it ever since. Then truck drivers are hired to deliver those trees to a mill. This is the area right here along the Pennsylvania, New York uh, borderline where the best timber grows in the United States. Jobs for mill workers are created to transform the trees into billets. I enjoy working there. I don't, I've been talking about retiring, but I don't really want to yet. I just turned 65 years old the first of October. I think I'll probably stick it off for a couple more years. It's, uh, it's treating me pretty good. I ain't real rich, but I make a little. <laughs> Once the billets are made, they are loaded up, and more truck drivers deliver them to factory workers, who manufacture them into bats. Then there are more jobs created to market the bat, and retail jobs to sell the bat. When you do see a Louisville Slugger bat, you know that a lot of different employees were necessary in order to get that bat from the, from the forest down into the, uh, into the player's hands. This example reminds us that it takes many people in the production chain to make a bat, or any product for that matter, 